Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. I found a kit on quilling in a magazine. I believe I was about 10 years old, and my mom bought the kit for me, and I was hooked. I just thought it was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. In my experience, children are familiar with it because they've had some kind of exposure in school with curling paper. But a lot of people will take a look at these things and think, what is that? They think it's ceramic, they think it's shaved wood, or they don't realize it's paper that they're looking at. So that's what makes it quite unique. It's very simple, it's inexpensive, uh, you can do so many different things with it, and uh, you can do it anywhere. You can do it watching television, riding in a plane, car. It's very portable, and it's very inexpensive. So for uh, an investment of $10, you can do so many things, which is unusual these days. <laughs> well, there are two guilds that I'm aware of. There's a European uh, quilling guild, and there's a North American quilling guild, of which I'm a member. And there's probably a couple thousand people uh, across the country that are members of the North American Quilling Guild now. Uh, you can be accredited. You can submit your work for accreditation, uh, which is a personal goal of mine. I was a corporate paralegal for many years. I worked as an executive assistant, and I decided to give all that up in April and uh, focus full-time on my artwork. I have not look back. <laughs> I'm only looking forward. It's great. It's, it's been wonderful. I started contacting local libraries, community centers, um, scrapbooking stores, uh, the Art League of Long Island, and other schools. Actually, uh, in North Carolina, too, there's a folk school that I've contacted, and they're all very, very receptive. So it's just a matter of emailing or calling these people and setting up appointments, showing them my work and it's been amazing. I do have pieces that are all over the world at this point, um, either through being given as gifts or customers through word of mouth have contacted me for you know, custom made orders. Uh, they display these things in their home and years go by and I'll have people contact me and say, you're the one who did that piece for me and it's in my living room and that's what life's all about. Most of my clients uh, are people who are looking to preserve their family memories um, in such a permanent way, like the antique photographs, um, it's a big, big thing, and wedding invitations, baby announcements, bar mitzvah uh, announcements. That's most of my clients actually, because that's such a popular thing, weddings and babies. It also can be used to do just regular standalone uh, pictures uh, that stand by themselves like that and like this one over here. It appeals to everybody. You could do so many different things with it. Well, you have to have the courage to go out and completely blindly contact somebody and say, look what I can do and look what I can do for you. I can have a class that will be popular and that people will ask for and come back to and I can you know, have continuing classes, which is good for you, you know. I tend not to be a confident person by nature, so that was a little tough. But when you see the response, little by little, you get there. So, uh, it's getting there. <laughs> Thank you.